guys, we are back live from Terre Haute, Indiana, where I you land 2013. I'm sitting here with uh, Remix from MME. Jerry, just uh, take us through today. You know, obviously it's a disappointing day. Just uh, dropping two matches, probably uh, both of them. You, you felt very confident going into. Obviously, yesterday we spoke, and you, you spoke very highly of your team. Just take us through today. Kind of uh, tell us a little bit about what happened, what went on, how you're going to learn from, etc. Well, yeah, obviously, yesterday, we feel the way we played yesterday, if we would have played the same way today, that we had a good chance of winning this and keeping teams to very low amount of rounds on us. But the way we came in today, we started good in the nuke match. We won pistol. We ended up getting eco on the third round. They got an aggressive squeaky and hut just at the perfect time as we were sending three outside and one squeaky, one hut. And they got our two teammates, and then they were just in good position with the bomb down. So that got us off guard. We actually battled back and got a few rounds, but both both maps, Nuke and Inferno, our CT side, we just had bad rotations, bad teamwork. Our teammates were out of position, and we lost. I, th I think we lost almost every clutch today, every clutch round. Whenever rounds come down, two on ones, one on ones, you gotta win those rounds, or you're gonna be out of money, and you're just gonna start losing more and more rounds. So we did lose a lot of the clutches, and I. Our communication was great yesterday. Today, uh, Lloyd got a new mic, and we couldn't really, he wanted it in the raft, and we won a headset. And we couldn't hear him. We could hear him when he was talking by himself, but not when other people were talking to, so I'm not sure why that was. But we had a few communication problems, and we were just out of position a lot, and the other team just played better than us. Well, take us, take us a little a step further. You know, um, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people thought you were a favorite coming into this, obviously. You know, tough day, once again. Like I said before, um, how is this going to prepare you going into the rest of the invite season? Um, you know, are you guys going to learn from this? Are you going to move forward? Um, you know, a lot of the talk is, man, they're done, they're done, you're dead. You know, team's dead, dude. Team's dead. You know, just kind of take us through. You know, how are you guys going to learn from this? Is it going to be a learning experience? Is it going to be a frustrating experience? Just kind of take us through that. Yeah, well, we're not. We're obviously the team's not dead. We're still going to try for ESA land. We actually have. We're in MLG playoffs right now. It's us, Frost dynamic but their roster is kind of messed up because they still have the players from previous dynamic I think it's still Pex and Kiko are still on their MLG roster and uh, first place for that is five grand and five sensei mice and five mouse pads and second place is 25 and five other mice and something else so we're still going to try to win that we're still going to try to do I'm still very confident that we're going to make ESEA lane so we're just going to be trying to be more prepared, get more practice in. We didn't get to practice uh, Nuke much, but we were confident on Nuke, so we didn't. We should have actually just stayed and went over Nuke last night, but instead we got careless and didn't go over it. Did other things instead. But in our Inferno, we knew we'd have trouble on Inferno. But as I said yesterday, all five of our players are better than all five of C2's players, and then they just worked together as a team and won the clutches late round, and they just bit. Bit us in the butt, like, got, got to give them a little credit. Yeah, for they outplayed us for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's good to hear. Um, all right, well, you know, kind of moving forward, um, Ryu Lane, just kind of talk about, you know, what you expected coming into this event as far as teams, uh, community um, showing up, stuff like that, and then take us through now and kind of the event. How, how was Ryu done? Kind of give it to the community from a, a player standpoint. Kind of just take us through that. Right. Well, actually, I was one of the first people talking to him about this land. We were talking on Steam back and forth. How many teams do I think would come? Is it a good idea and stuff like that? So I actually felt bad when only eight pe eight teams showed up. And to be honest, I don't know why. It's close to an airport. He had a shuttle service. It was well within two months in advance. But yeah, I thought there was going to be at least sixteen. I told him he could even get thirty-two. And then for only eight to sign up, that was kind of bad on right. our community's part because. I mean, everyone, he posted a thread, and everyone's like, oh, my team will be there, my team will be there, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and then people just didn't commit. And as far as the land was run, as, did you mean, like, how, was it smooth? Yeah, committed? well, I mean, uh, just the hospitality of, of both Ebash, the, the land center that we're at, or and, and just Ryan in general, how did he do it? Was it smooth? Um, did he really meet your expectations of, like, giveaways and prizes and stuff like that? Kind of right, he it. actually exceeded our expectations. Two people on our team, not just because they won the giveaways, but he gave out... We won two headsets, but he also gave out a video card just now that uh, Sapphire won. I know that Volcano won. He won a mouse. He won a Razor mouse. He gave out a bunch of good stuff. The people here at Ebash, we came the night before, and they were having some kind of lock-in. 
where you're supposed to stay till 8 a.m. and pay a certain amount, but we were just going to scrim a couple times, so they were cordial to us in that manner where they just let us play for like two hours, sure. and then they only had us pay like the $4 an hour or whatever instead of the 15 So, and the computers were great. We were in three different rooms, but that really wasn't a big deal. You had plenty of time to set up and get acquainted with your It's not like you're just plugging in and going. You, everyone from Ryu to you, yourself, helping with the scheduling to give people time to set up and get comfortable, that was great. So I've been to probably over 50 lanes, and this is one of the top five for sure. It's been run really well. So as you hear from Jared himself, he's, uh, he's basically saying, if you didn't make it, you made a mistake. Um, I have to agree with him. Ryu's ran a great land. He's really exceeded uh, my expectations. Uh, you know, and, and obviously, as you can hear, he's, he's exceeded uh, Remix's expectations as well. So, basically, that's going to wrap it up for the interview, Jared. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for taking the time to do that. I'm sure the community no appreciates the support. You got any other shout-outs you'd like to give? A shout-out to MME, our sponsors, Razor and TeamSpeak. Also, shout-out to Ryu for holding the land. Sure. Okay. All right, guys. We should have the Losers Bracket Final coming up. We've got Frost Gaming versus C2 coming up next. That winner will go into the grand final best of three right after that match. So stay tuned. We will be back with you. More Ryu Land 2013 live from Terre Haute, Indiana.